so it's raining now, but we work rain or shine here. We've got Wits engine. What I did was to fix the broken off stud problem. I had Bill Hazard make two new studs with oversized thread profiles on the bottom end to compensate for the screwed up threads in the holes. And what's going on here is Wit set these cylinder castings inside the boiler. So this thing here is a continuation of the boiler itself. The cylinders are always surrounded by water and steam, mostly water because the water level is about here. So the cylinders are always at boiler temperature no matter what. It's a neat innovation that uh, he didn't come up with it, of course, but he was one of the few people building engines this way in this era. 1900 this thing's from. So to seal between the end of the cylinder casting and the boiler sheet, which is this, these studs have these ferrules in them. He did them white metal. I'm doing them copper. This is one that I drove already. But we're going to heat up the stud to set this thread thread sealer that I put in there and also anneal this copper washer. You can see here, made, made this on uh, Tommy's lay to see it rotating there. There's your ferrule. We're just heating everything up good. And then what we're going to do is take this guy here, we're going to bang it in, bang it to shape. So this is a snug fit on the stud. The ID is the same as the major diameter, but you see what happened there? You mush that copper ferrule right inside to create a steam tight seal. So we're making good progress, but this took a lot of time and tooling to get together. And I'll tell you what, making those copper rings out of flat copper sheet was not easy. To further explain, you see what's going on there? If you zoom in and there, we drove them flat. There's a countersink in the boiler sheet, but not just that. These new studs that Bill made, I specified this internal groove. This is not part of the threads. You see it's after where the threads end. This goes down to the level of that countersink. So when we hammered that in with that mandrel, the copper not only squished outwards into a disc, but also into this groove in the stud. To form, that's where the steam seal comes. And it's also part of the structure that prevents the boiler sheet from pushing up from the pressure. So this is not only a cylinder stud, but it's also a stay bolt.